Uh, welcome back to Access Daily from New York City, everyone. Yes, and who is more New York than the one and only Rosie Perez? <laughs> So great to see you, Rosie. And yeah, to me, you are the quintessential New Yorker. Before we get into all your great stuff, I just got to say on a personal note, I love that you're such a fan of boxing and considered like the first lady of, of boxing and, and uh, still remain a, a huge fight fan, correct? Yes, I am. The, the, I, and you're a fight fan too. We love you, Mario, we do. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the best thing ever this year in boxing was Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. Yes, what a fight. Yes, I was what there. A fight. I was screaming my head off and crying at the end, but that's boxing, right? Yeah, what I do you love you were... about boxing so much? I love the dedication and the tenacity that it takes to step into the ring. And I love the science of boxing, the sweet science. It's not just about pounding each other. It's really about being smart and making the smart moves. That's what I love about boxing. Exactly. Well put. I love well it. Put. Well, getting to your new show, congratulations, Now and Then. Um, in Spain, I love that you get to speak Spanish. Hablas yes. español? Sí, un, un poquito. Um, <laughs> I always speak uh, Spanglish. I'm a New Yorker. Right. You know, but it's not proper grammar. And when this uh, show came along, now and then, it created such an opportunity for me to step up to the challenge to speak fluent Spanish. And I know a lot of first generation Latino Americans will understand how I feel. And my sister Carmen helped me through the process. And I'm very proud of it. And I'm proud of the show. So, and it's m m mainly in Spanish, but also English. And everybody seems to love it. And I love it too. That's awesome. Tell us about your sister Carmen. What did she do to help you through this? Oh my God, she was so mean and strict. <laughs> oh my God, she was. She was like, you know, making sure that I had the right pronunciation and more importantly, the right grammar. And, um, and I kept telling her, stop yelling at me. <laughs> and she goes, I just want you to do well. And, and I couldn't have done it without her. And she stayed living with me in Spain because we shot it in Spain and in uh, Miami. Uh, and she traveled with me throughout the whole entire process. That's so cool. That's awesome yeah. to have your family there. And, and for those who may not be familiar with the show, Rosie, uh, tell us about Now and Then. Now and Then is about five uh, teenagers who have just graduated high school and they're celebrating on the beach and then one of their friends dies and they try to cover it up and as a result of the cover up, someone else dies Ooh. and they all swear to secrecy to never tell anybody what happened and they flee the scene and I play the lead detective. And um, 20 years later, another body shows up and someone is also blackmailing them. And I'm still, now I'm a sergeant detective. Ooh. Before I was a junior detective, now I'm a sergeant detective and I'm going to get them. Oh, I well, like that. Kind of show. My money's on I Rosie. Like that right I got there. this. Nice. Wait, I think we have a clip of your new show. Roll it. They were patrolling along this road and they, I guess, came across it. Why is that back door open? Maybe it opened on impact. Maybe they opened it. You guys touch anything? No. Or maybe there was someone else in the car? Oh, she's going to solve that. I bet you that scene was tough to shoot with the rain. And... <laughs> that was so tough, but it actually added to my character because this is her first case. And it just added to the clumsiness and the nervousness, and I just put it all in there. And my scene partner is Jelko Ivanic from Madam Secretary, and we just clicked and hit it off. I'm so proud of this project. It challenged me in a way that I haven't been challenged in a very long time, not since I was last on Broadway, not since Fearless in 93, and so I'm really proud of it. And I love the fact that it's they handpicked international Latino and Spanish stars throughout all the countries and bringing them together. And I was like, why didn't anybody else think of this? Because we're not just one thing. You and I are different. We're both Latino, but we're very different. And they always try to lump us into one category. And so this show helps to kind of dispel all of that as well. But it's also such a great crime drama and thriller. It's a page turner. That's And awesome. do you play 20 years younger with the flashback? Could only Rosie Perez do that? Because there's something about you. You just do not age, such a youthfulness. <laughs> Uh, truthfully, don't give me that look, Rosie. <laughs> what was it like going back and shooting those scenes? 
Oh, it was so stressful. <laughs> I was working out every day, <laughs> and uh -huh. um, and I didn't have my boxing trainer with me, John Snow. Oh, okay. Um, Wait, is that the key to you looking so good? Is boxing? It's boxing, but it's also I stole Angela Bassett's secret. I found out who her facialist was. Oh, <laughs> can you share that with me when yes. we're off air? I need yes. that. Yes, <laughs> but I was like, Angela, how are you doing it? And she goes, I don't know, and so I found out. <laughs> I, got, I got to ask you, Rosa, what, what do you think about the reboot of White Man Can't Jump? I think it's fabulous. I know everybody's so worried about it, but they remade A Star is Born how many times? And it worked every yeah. single time. So it's actually a compliment that they want to remake this show. So let's hope that it wins. You know, I, 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 I really hope, and I hope that they have as much fun as we had. That's awesome. And Flight Attendant, are you still having so much fun on it? Yeah, we finished filming, and um, uh, it's actually the last two episodes uh, these uh, uh, this week, and I'm really excited. Congratulations on everything. Great to catch up. Great with to see you, Look Rosie. forward to the show. Yeah. And listen, now and then premieres on Apple TV Plus on May 20th. Be sure to check it out.